let's make some Korean braised fish. This is what I call pap doduk, which literally translates into rice thief because once you start eating this, guaranteed you will want second and third plates of rice. Yes, it is that good and comforting. First, you're gonna peel some radish and don't be getting those baby teeny weeny radishes at the American stores that remind you of your ex, okay? The real radishes for grown-ups, it's at the Asian markets. I always cut out the outer parts of the radish because sometimes, no matter how long I cook them, they are chewy on the outer parts and I'm not taking that risk, especially not for this dish because I'm actually making this for my father-in-law who recently got a really bad case of the flu. As the one and only daughter-in-law, since my husband is the only child, I gotta show out one time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't know where I got that from but it's been stuck with me for like a week now. Anyway, if you think earning brownie points from your in-laws end as soon as you guys get married, absolutely not, bestie. The effort and the show must go on. I'm a huge believer in the fact that once you get married, you marry the family as well. Now you have an extended family. And in order for all of you guys to be a big old happy family, you gotta put in the effort as much as they do. I mean, sometimes it's not as equal. I know how that goes. But if there is one thing I learned getting older, it's that it is always better to be a bigger person. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, I really can't get this out of my head. Heat up your pan on medium high heat with no oil. Then we're going to stack up our ingredients. Radish first, then onions, then fish of your choice. I use hair tail. You can also use croaker or mackerel. Then comes the most satisfying part, which is putting the sauce inside. I like to use the same bowl to fill up the water so I can get the remaining sauce in there. Does that make sense? I don't know, just, just follow the video. The amount of water you put inside really depends on how much liquid you want for your braised fish. I usually like more than usual because I like to pour it over my rice and eat it like a stew. Lower the heat and cover and let that simmer for a bit and in between that, make sure you put the sauce all over the fish like how I'm doing in the video. This is how I test if my radish is fully cooked. I just snapped that thing in half. And that's on me not being able to snap anybody else in half because I'm a safe woman now. <laughs> You know you're at the finish line when the fish is falling off the bone like so. I learned that this dish was my father-in-law's favorite when we had to stay with them for like a month while our new house was getting renovated. Ever since then, I made the mental note and I get to make this for him and I hope he loves it because when I tried it, girl, it was fire!